Pisces, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Is Donna from Tarot? Tarot, doing a quick read for you. We're going to go over your money, your career, your love life, do a general spread. At the end, we're going to do the all signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're, the, if you're dealing with a Gemini, um, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, because as I was getting ready to do your reading, Aquarius, I kept thinking Aquarius. Okay, what am I going to do for Aquarius? And I was like, wait, no, this is Sag. So you could have placements in Aquarius, like Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Aquarius. Or you could be dealing with somebody who has um, placements in Aquarius. So let's take a look and see um, your money. I chose the decks ahead of time. I'll show you which ones I'm using in case you want to purchase one for yourself or for somebody else's gift. But um, for some reason, Sagittarius, I chose Cthulhu for your money portion, which makes me wonder if you feel like your your financial situation right now is a horror story. <laughs> because this is the deck we chose. So let's look and see what ended up on the bottom. Okay. Are you, I don't know, is there, has money caused arguments? Because the five of swords is usually a card of um, arguments. Um, so have you been arguing over money? Have there been fights or arguments, disagreements over money? And um, let's see. Can you see it? Okay. Two knights, okay, and then there it is again, though. You saw me shuffle, right? So here it is again, and look, here you are. By the way, I did, I started your reading, and this was on the bottom of the deck when I did the reading the first time, and I had to stop. I'm not even going to go into why I stopped. It doesn't even matter. Um, but look, here you are focused on making money. But here's the, re like, you're focused on the long term. Um, you're trying to make things grow. Um, I am not the biggest fan of this Queen of Wands. I'll show you what. But you're feeling pretty confident. Um, yeah, you're feeling very confident when it comes to, like, your financial situation. Even though there's been arguments or disagreements that have caused stress. Look. This is their Queen of Wands. This is a creepy... If you don't know the Cthulhu Mythos, then look it up. But, um, yeah, that's a creepy Queen of Wands. But, but look, you're feeling pretty good about it. Like, you're willing to take risks and, um, and just do whatever you have to do to make a coin. I do like this Knight of Coins. You have two Knights. So, I think a lot of you all are actually asking for advice from other people, maybe, on how to make money or how to make more money or what you could do to increase your abundance. I'm not really sure. Um, I just noticed. I, I, okay, so I did a review of this deck in the random playlist. So there's a playlist for Sagittarius and there's a playlist for random that has all kinds of deck reviews and all kinds of other stuff in it. Um, and you can even look like Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your placements. You can look at any of the, the uh, playlists and see like sign or you know, see readings. I can't freaking talk. Today is the day that Mercury enters the pre retro shadow. And I wonder what was going on because I was having technical issues before I even started recording. And I was like, what in the crap? I was like, are we in pre retro shadow already? And I looked, and today the, is the day it enters it. I was like, of course. All right, well, here we go. Um, the actual retro starts April 21st and it doesn't go direct until I think May 14th. So, yay. In the sign of Taurus, whatever that is for you. Let's see. Um, that would be your sixth house of, like your solar sixth house of, uh, work <laughs> and health and, uh, everyday mundane crap. So stuff around the home and stuff on the job might have some issues misunderstandings or you know things go a little haywire um but knight of coins so you are focused on doing things so i think i'm talking to uh sad just with uh venus in capricorn because you are focused on the, the long term like you're you're serious about the long term so that's good all right so and you do want things to grow um my god man what a weird the, the, just this deck is just crazy <laughs> Uh, but I do like, I like their ace of coins, and I like that it's, you are, look at this, you are focused on the coin. So this is good. In your money read. Okay, so steampunk for your career and public image and all that. Um, 
and I say public image because for those of you who don't have a job or career, then it would be your reputation, how people see you. Mm, okay, so you want things to move forward. Um, do you do you already have control? Yeah, I feel like you all have control over whatever is going on in your career or job or your your public image. You have control over the situation. Um, you have the cherry, that's forward movement, that's also having control over things. So, let's see, and that is Joey, in case you, there's a cat there, that's Joey. Pookie. Pookie is sleeping, and I don't know where Baby is, he's probably tearing something up somewhere. Alright, so, did he hear, I think he heard his name. Um, so, mm, Wow. And in that, when I did the read the first time, you had the tower. You had the tower then too. And look at this. So a lot of you are taking a chance. Now, you, I don't know. A lot of people see you in some way, shape, or form almost like a star. And I, I know that sounds cliche because it's the star card. I get it. But look, like it's almost like you, you shine. Like you, you seriously, a lot of people just look up to you or they just... I don't want to say they have stars in their eyes, but you know what I'm saying. You, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, they really, I guess, kind of look up to you, but they, I don't know how else to put it. Anyway, you're you're waiting on something, though, some type of situation. I don't know if you, if you have put in for, a, like, if you've applied for another job, if you've applied, you know, um, interviewed, you're waiting for word back. Um, if you have started your own like you're starting your own business and you've applied to like the county to get a license or what you're wait, but you're waiting for something um, to to come out. You're waiting for it to come through. But here's big changes. Um, oh, you know what? There's gonna be okay. So there's gonna be a few sages out there who are gonna meet <laughs> a love interest on the job or in their career. Um, and it's going to really shake up their world. Now, let me, before I go any further, because I just want to make sure that this isn't like some kind of narcissistic BS, because, okay, if there's a love interest they meet on the job or in their career, um, what is this person like? <sighs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Sag, oh my God. So you either meet him on the job or through your job in some way, shape, or form. Look at that. That's like wish fulfillment. That's like whatever you want. Look, whatever you want. Dang, Sag. That's also a Pisces card. Not that it matters, but... Okay, so I like that. Whew. But you're, you're willing to take a chance, take a risk, um, try something new. But this tower, I don't think it's a bad tower. Um... I, I just don't. You have the world card here, so it could be um, while traveling, you know, you unexpectedly meet a love, a, a new love, uh, like, I don't know if, is it, is it long-term potential? Eh, it's debatable. It's debatable whether or not it's long-term potential. Um, that's kind of like, eh, maybe, maybe not. So, I don't, I can't answer that, but I can tell you, um, they're going to shake things up. Look at this. This person is, I'm going to put it in the order it came out. They are definitely going to shake things up. Dang, Sag, check that out. Look at you. All right, so, so yeah, it could be traveling or it could be through the internet um, because the world card is both, um, like, it's basically when you're out, putting yourself out there in some way, um, either traveling or the internet let, puts you in touch with everybody as well. That puts you in touch with the world. So, love let's look at your love with the runic tarot what is on the bottom of the deck ah, an offer of love somebody's gonna offer you love so i don't know if this is new or old but i feel like it's new because it's like you're meeting somebody like it's something new is gonna really shake things up
So things are kind of quiet right now. This is the Four of Swords in the um, the Runic Tarot. I was like looking at this and I'm like, what in the heck? It almost looks like, yeah, it is. It's like where they, um... I don't know if that, I'm gonna have to look it up because it almost looks as if like, I know in, I think in Viking days or Viking, um, whatever the word is I'm trying to think of, they're, history or whatever um if some when someone would pass away you would put the body on a boat and then you set the boat on fire and then you send the boat off i mean it's, it sounds kind of messed up but um and that's how they would honor their dead and send them on their way so i don't know if that's what that's supposed to be depicting but long story short um and i'm not saying that means your love life is dead but you know, things are kind of quiet right now. Maybe you did put something. Maybe something did pass and you're just like, you just kind of said goodbye to it. I don't know. Um, but there's forward movement. And did you get the chariot already? Um, yeah, you got on the bottom of the uh, steampunk deck. Um, that's a card. That's a cancer card. But, yeah, things are going to move forward. You're going to have control over things. Like, if you're if it's a situation in which you had no control over something... Um, you'll have control over this. Wow, look at this. This is the Ace of Cups, and you've gotten it twice now. Um, where did I... Oh, it was when I did the first... Okay, it's when I did the first one, and then I, I had to stop. But, um, so, Ace of Cups in the love reading, I mean, what else do I need to say? Sag, this is good stuff. This is the horns or cups in this deck, but, um, wow. So you all have, oh my God, I love it. And the star card again, that's Sag um, that's Aquarius energy. By the way, it irks the crap out of me when somebody calls off a card, a reader calls off a card and then says the, the wrong sign associated with it. So don't get me wrong. I've probably done it by accident before, but, but they're adamant about it. Like they'll say that the, um, the moon card is cancer. It is not in astrology. It is. The moon is, is the ruler of the sign of cancer in astrology, but in tarot, the moon is Pisces. And the chariot is not Pisces. The chariot is cancer. Just like um, the high priestess is also cancer, not Pisces. So it irks me when they... It does. It irks me something fierce when they get it wrong. Um, because you can look it up. You can see what they are on the internet. You can look at... Anybody can look it up and see what they are. Um, the star. So you're healing something. There's he there's hope there's hope and there's healing. Um and you've got this. What I don't know what in the heck is going on with your finan your yeah, your financial that too. But um in your love life, but <laughs> even though things may look daunting, you've got this. You're healing some kind of situation and you're glowing up. So what else before we move on to the general spread? Um yeah, you have probably been through a lot. Um, and you may have some trust issues because of it. Because this is the nine of wands in the uh, runic tarot. So you might have, you know, some trust issues from having just been through what feels like a war. So what is on the bottom of the deck? Um, that is a heck of a five of wands. If I've ever seen five of wands, this is... <laughs> so... Is this in the past? You feel like there was a lot of fighting? Yeah. So this is on the bottom, five of wands, but this is like, normally it's a, a card of people fighting, but this is, I mean, look at this. This is almost reminds me a little bit of like the, um, the hangman being sacrificed and being stuck and, um, being in a really bad place. Right. Um, and I, I ask, you know, is this, you know, in the past, um, but I feel like it probably is. But this is the, um, the Six of Wands. And it may have been something that was public. Um, you may have dealt with somebody who was all about drama and loved to get attention. Like to always win. There's that. So you might have dealt with that in the past. So it might have given you some trust issues. But man, you've got... Whew, you got reason to be optimistic. Because my God. 
Ooh, you got good stuff going on. Scorpio does too. Scorpio got a really good reading. All right, so your final deck um, before I do the all signs is the Tattoo Tarot. So this one, and actually, was I going to use a different one? I think I, I think I was going to use a different one, but oh well, it is what it is. I was thinking you were Aquarius for some reason. After doing Scorpio, they, well, they had Aquarius keep popping up. Okay, I just got a text message. I turned on Do Not Disturb, and I still get like notifications. I guess they're just quiet, but they're still. I still know. Um. All right. So whatever's going on right now, I got. I don't think I can reach that, but can I? Well, shit, that didn't work the way I wanted. <laughs> I got a text and I was trying to clear it, and yeah, I guess I hit the part of the screen that just closed it all down. So, um, overall, you're, things are kind of quiet. You're being quiet, and you're being kind of secretive and paying attention to your intuition right now. This is you focusing on your intuition and just trying to feel things through. So, let's see, and I can't help but keep, I keep looking at the Tower and the Ace of Cups. So some new love is going to come in like a, I don't want to say like a wrecking ball, but I almost did say that. So maybe like a wrecking ball. That's why I'm almost a little bit, uh, I hope they're not narcissistic. I did try to um, clarify that. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, so in general, what's going on? Two of swords indecision about stuff. Working, focusing on work, trying to just make the coin. Um, feeling poor. <laughs> And stressing out and feeling disappointed. What? So you've got right now Sagittarius. What is going on? You are usually normally uh, very optimistic, but you're feeling feeling kind of poor, feeling um, feeling disappointed in something. Like you're just you're only seeing like how things didn't work out. Although at least all these cups are upright, so I do like that. Um, but here you are just feeling left out in the cold and feeling poor. Um, you're stressing out over something. It could be money, could be love. I don't know what it is, but, um, you're indecisive, focused on making money. So here you are making the coin. And then I don't know if, if this is you having a hard time opening up or if somebody you've dealt with or are dealing with has a hard time opening up. Because this is the, the page of cups is usually now it could signify somebody who's emotionally immature. There's that. Um, so repeated the things are repeated were the star card. I think the ace of cups. Ace of cups is um all the the water signs. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and I think that is it right but you got a lot of fives too i just noticed that you've got five of swords five of cups and five of, of coins or pentacles um fives have to do with um change friction um chaos you know thing basically the key word here is change uh, could be frustration because i think fives are frustration all right so let's do the all signs and we'll get rolling i gotta do um let's see scorpio centuries capricorn i'm gonna do capricorn hopefully before the night's over and I got to stitch this together because I <laughs> hit it with my thumb. That's awesome. Um, someone might, might want to apologize to you. Here's somebody wanting to apologize. So there's that. Um, okay, so Aries. Why do you have the death card with the Aries? Aries feels like, Aries feels like things are done um, and they just want to, they want to heal and grow. But it's like they're still optimistic. They still have hope. They feel like things are done, but they still have hope. Okay. Um, Taurus. Are you with the Taurus? Um, they have secrets. They like to keep you in the dark. Gemini wants to reunite. Right now, you're not hearing it from them because they're just kind of hiding out, seeking answers. Cancer sees you as their happily ever after, um, but they're kind of chilly. Like, they don't... They're not the typical Cancer. Um, they're kind of cold, maybe a little calculating because um, they... It's something to do with them feeling like they either A, have an apology, A, and B, like they don't have a whole lot to offer. Um, Leo is waiting on you, um, but they want things to be fair this time. Virgo feels burdened and they're holding back. Libra wants to fight for this. They want to fight off competition. They, they love you. Uh, Scorpio, they're going to come rushing in but to talk to you, but at the same time, they're focused on their coin. Okay. 
if you deal with a fellow Sagittarius, um, they're bitchy and at the same time, they're bitchy and cold, but at the same time, they want to reunite. They want to restart things. They want, I almost want to say that they're, they want to say to you, this is the last time. <laughs> is it the last time in their eyes? Well, they're, they're at a crossroads. Um, okay. Capricorn. Um, you know what? The Capricorn has a hard time offering emotion anyway. They're walking away, but they have a hard time opening up anyway. Aquarius, uh, they like to be in control, They're, but they want to take a leap of faith. Um, are they just bossing up? Is that what's going on? Ooh, yeah. They, they, it's like the, okay, so if you're dealing with an Aquarius and they were acting like, um, kind of, I don't know, wishy-washy or whatever, which I guess Aquarius could do, but um, they are bossing up. They actually want to commit. They want to settle. It's like they want to settle down. They want to be serious this time. <clears throat> they want to take a leap of faith. I'll take a chance. Pisces, sorry about that. Um, Pisces, they feel like they're lucky with you, <laughs> but at the same time, do they want to press their luck or try their luck? What's going on? Yeah. So the Pisces wants to be single and um, they want to try their luck um, elsewhere, I think. They want to sow their oats, so to speak. Um, but it's, things are kind of quiet right now. You may feel like you just want to take a break or you might need a break, need rest. You might need a vacation. I don't know. All right, Sagittarius. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Thank you. Love you. And I will see you all in the next one.